Hello, and welcome to the Quaker Cinemas Review Show. Today, we have our usual guest, Plus One. We over here, we have our Sheriff, Orvis Campbell, and we have Jerry Latonis as usual, Mike Ernest as usual, and me, Will Ernest. Mike, we'll go to you first, and today we're reviewing the movie Spider-Man Far From Home. What did you think of the movie? I liked it. I think uh, Spider-Man has obviously been done a lot of times, and this is a good extension of the movie. It's a perfect summertime movie in that essentially Spider-Man is on vacation. It is uh, Rick Steves meets the Avengers. They are traveling throughout Europe. They hit probably five or six different countries and throughout their adventures through Europe, uh, the as you would expect, Spider-Man is called upon to use his spider skills uh, during that time period. And there's, as expected, there's a few wrinkles uh, along the way. And actually, there's probably one really big wrinkle that I don't know we want to get into as far as whether it would ruin the film for you. <laughs> but um, in my opinion, for a, a series that has been done a lot of times, Tom Holland brings a lot of life to it and makes a really good extension of it. I think it's a very good summertime film. Thanks, Mike. Jared? This movie is great. Two hours of nonstop action. Characters you really care about. You're on the edge of your seat. Fantastic special effects. Great monsters. Great plot twists. This, I think, holds its own against the best of the Spider-Man movies. Thanks. Orvis? Well, I gotta tell you, I really liked it. How do you not like Spider-Man, though, in general, catching bad guys? Um, but this movie has so much going on. I think that Aside from extending the Spider-Man story, um, we have uh, like MJ, the character of the girl who from uh, Homecoming, who now is taken to a whole other level of importance in this show. And you can see she's coming on to be a, a main character. You can see where the series may go. It's giving you lots of opportunity for all the Marvel fans. There's, you know, without giving anything away, there's lots of flashbacks to old movies and to the tradition of. Uh, you know Tony Stark's empire and the, uh, the the Marvel Empire. So I think it was great. It was a lot of action, a lot of fun, a lot of humor. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Thanks, Orvis. Um, honestly, I really liked it. I saw the uh, bottom line to this movie in the Hollywood Reporter was the Marvel's European vacation. I thought it was a bit more than that. It was a fun movie. Uh, you know, there was you know a lot going on, of course, a bit more than I think a lot of Marvel movies. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you know what? It's a fun movie. You have a fun time watching it. And I'm going to give it four cues. Mike? I'm going to give it four cues as well. The other thing I forgot to bring up, that really good supporting cast, a lot of extra players in all of this. Uh, John Favreau, I think, does a good job in it. Kind of uh, goes back to Tony Stark days. Really good. Directing Lion King, right? Yeah, directed Iron Man, too. Yeah, busy guy. Jerry? Four and a half cues. I thought this was the best movie I've seen in at least the last half year. Wow. Works. Wow. Uh, I didn't know we could give half cues. So this is <laughs> yeah. my, first, my first time. But I got to tell you, you know, I was a big Tobey Maguire fan and those, those, those Spider-Mans there. This was really good. So I give it four because when you're comparing it to all of the superhero movies, it, 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 it's you can tell it's kind of a dev development movie for where they're going to go with Spider-Man. I think Spider-Man's got a great future and this movie was, was awesome. I agree with that. I think if you like the Tobey Maguire ones, you'll like these ones. All right, and what's our next one? Our next film that we will be having at the Quaker is a little few weeks off is The Lion King. Oh, okay. So we just mentioned that one. All right, and that's all for our review show today. Thank you for watching.